ช่ไหม我能听见。嗯、哦，这声音听得清楚是吧？这么大声行吗？嗯、哦，听得清楚。共享屏幕吗？嗯、哦，跟、哦、你先，你先不用共享给我吧，我这说几句直接共享给康老师吧。啊、嗯，行。嗯。你先说，然后我把屏幕给康老师，是吧？嗯，呃，康，呃，康老师，我我我帮你开个头啊，就可以了。你稍等我一下，一会儿。大路人，你准备好了没有啊？我我我我有啥准备好不好？就这样。哈哈哈哈哈。第二个，我建议管理者把参加者全部都静音掉，不然一大堆人有一大堆背景的杂音，谁哪受得了啊？好，我关掉。有一个 m 啊，可以把所有人都 m 掉。还是桑，你还是呃，还是您先说，然后我讲 marketing 的部分，然后后面是答疑环节，行吧？是 introduce the added new product to you, and the engineer is a special material besides the、uh, uh, vanilla. We will introduce our new product, bionic lipstick. The cornea used as the veneer, and、uh, how to solve the common problems of the cornea. 还有人在吃饭。我看见吃馅饼。对啊，我也笑死。<笑>我正在问他吃什么。这是你也饿了是不是？呃，这我很好奇他吃什么。<笑>我看到蛋了。哎<笑>，看起来是蒙古的代理商哎。是啊。<笑>我在猜呀、啊。哎、欸，王子今天总共多久？一个一个小时多一点吗？啊？你要讲多久？你我我估计半个小时左右吧。
那我不能讲太久嘛，那我就讲大概最多一个小时。呃，对，因为三个部分，最后还有那个答疑环节，应该您控制在一个小时左右，一个小时左右吧。好、哦嗯。他们可能比较关注那个颜色跟那个粘接那两个问题。嗯，有啊，我就这下午就在弄这个。对，颜色颜色主要是一个颜色转换，他们比较比较比较比较比较比较那什么。比较不知道，对，就不知道到底怎么因颜色号定义不太一样嘛，咱不知道怎么颜色怎么转换，转换能跟这个一起。反正咱们到到时候就开始吧，应该是九点的话，人数的话，需要确认一下吗？我还以为你说只有经销商，就怎么又变成是全开放的？啊，我也不知道，后来咱都想来吧。没有，经理有叫我说叫我们代理商的那个业务也可以来听啊，所以我叫他们上了。对啊，本来想说只有只有经销商跟代理商啊，我想说就是变成都是就可以讲的比较直白。<笑>我我也在想这个问题啊。对啊，有使用者吗？啊、不知道，应该他丢在上面是全开放也没设密码、啊，说在他应该也会有使用者啊，所以变成有些东西就事后讲。就变成我可以直接回答你们在贩售的问题嘛？可你有使用者的时候，就可能就不好说。呃，也还好。我台湾是没有公布啊，我只有我们公司内部的人呢、啊。你看我自己也没转发、啊，我就看他们没奇怪，怎么又变开放的？好哟。因为本来最早是说给所有的经销商、代理商还有欧美的，结果又变成，嗯，好容易都变开放了，看我都有点搞不清楚。<笑>那个是非洲的，他有在吃东西吗？啊、嗯。那我开始，峰哥。好，我开始吧，好吧。嗯。呃、uh, ，OK，Hello、okay. everyone, welcome to today's training. Yeah. 呃、uh, ，Engineer went public at the end of last year, and、uh, we didn't give you a, a very good training before that. And, and first, I'm very sorry for that. And、uh, everyone knows that only by better understanding of the product, especially for the new product, can we sell new product better. Yeah. So we organized this, today's training. Yeah. Before training, we also collected the, some suggestions on the training content. Yeah.、Uh, many the problems that you have encountered in the previous、uh, product use and sales. Yeah. And、uh, we will give an、uh, explanation for them in this training. Yeah. And this training also includes the product marketing training and the Q and A part. Yeah. And now let's invite Mr. Kang Jiaming to start today's first part of the product training. Okay. Okay.、Uh, wait, Mimi. <coughs> I share my story first. Wait. Yeah. Okay.、Uh, okay. Since the role is、uh, introduced. And、uh, it's very happy can to、uh, can have the chance to share、uh, my experience and my knowledge about the Reconia bonding and the aesthetic and the science. And I know the editor tell me the many the their user and the their customer they don't、uh, very、uh, understand clear about the、uh, Reconia bonding because the Reconia bonding is the big problem in the clinical side. And then nowadays we don't to get a very perfect solution for Reconia restoration of bonding. So, uh, may, there are many the customer and the user is confused about the risk product. 
But in my experience later, I will uh, explain and share about the uh, how to use the Reconia Mania and how to get it bounded. Because the, a lot of the experience and a lot of the new knowledge is the development from the many professors in the university. But the, but the last step is just uh, for the user to uh, test it. So a lot of the uh, many user is uh, uh, is a fear and uh, confused about the new product. They always think that nobody tell me this is the can to use the reconium mania in clinical. Oh, there's no bounding and there is easy to bound. But we have a lot of the, the science article and the evidence and the, the paper from the universal. And uh, we can to think a uh, university and uh, we can to think why is the, the, the science choose and uh, this is the interest, not just only experience about the bounding reconium mania. And then now uh, we to start about the reconium mania aesthetic and the science topic. And uh, uh, today our focus is the um, easy near, not the other product. So, sorry. Okay, and uh, we know it is already is uh, have a very nice and the perfect product, the 3D Pro in the marketing. And uh, for there a lot of the customer and uh, they also very like this product because the 3D Pro Reconia is a multi-layer and a multi-function. And then uh, we can to use it to uh, create the anterior crown or a bridge or even posterior or posterior bridge and the implant restoration or long span full mouth, full arch, the draconia restoration. And the lead also can to make the veneer. But the, what the problem is about the 3D Pro to make the veneer? I can tell you it's not a big problem, but the 3D Pro is the multi-layer, the multi-color. So lead just can to make the neutral color group and the neutral look the, uh, like the neutral veneer. But then uh, a lot of the patient or in the modern, they, uh, modern, uh, uh, the, the, uh, I mean, the modern lady, and they all want to make the very bright or a bridge veneer and the bridge and crown. So uh, we wanted to, uh, to find the new way to create the bridge and the whiteness, the, the reconia. But they, if you want to create the bridge, and the brightness and the very, very white reconia and also to keep the translucent. Later is the interesting and the also difficult, uh, uh, difficult problem because the, every company, if you want to create, make it more bright and then you will make your reconia become opaque. So we to uh, develop and uh, study the material and uh, improve it. So I did make it a very nice and the new material is easy near. And the we develop easy near is for the bridging shirt and the, like the bridging uh, patient and the, for the clinic dentist uh, want to give the uh, young lady patient or the, the, the older lady. Now it's many people, uh, many people like the white, the mania case. But if you want to make a neutral case and maybe the A1, A2, A3, or A4 mania, I think you just also, uh, you also can to still use a 3D Pro. But the, we create a mania is not a lot of the, the, the color. We just have the seven. It's for the EW, BW, HB, it's high value and the low value. And the, uh, uh, and the bridging, uh, bridging white, the multi-layer, and the high-value multi-layer, and the, the low-value multi-layer. Uh, we not create a lot of every the Vida share color or the, or the hypercolor bridging share color. We just keep you the, like enamel share because we want we make the uh, veneer just focus on the uh, enamel area and the, we can make it the translucent and the brightness. So the easy near is the create for the bridging patient. And we also, uh, this is the, the, we must to know every different company and the different uh, uh, product, they also uh, to uh, uh, not, 
their zirconia and their, their product is very translucent. But the, we always know that it's not the same translucent, the same the lysine TCK. But <coughs> added to the create the edinia, we make the translucent zirconia is very, very close, the very, very close, the lysine TCK. You can do see this is a EW and uh, uh, 0 0.5 millimeter easy near EW is very, very thin and uh, small and, uh, and uh, uh, sorry, it's very translucent and the, and the whiteness, the draconia. And uh, you can do see the, the surface and uh, you can do see the their translucent is similar the, the uh, uh, IPS, EMAS, KKM, LT, BR1. You can do see its brightness than the PO1 and also translucent than the PO1. And the compare the HT PO1, here is the brightness than the HT PO1, just the least uh, the uh, translucent than the PO1. So this is a very interesting and the nice material for the uh, uh, bright and the bridge veneer patient. And uh, this is a layer, layer uh, material property and the, about the, the uh, MEPA skull or and the layer translucent. I think this is not the bigger problem for uh, every user. But I must say that sometimes the, uh, some, um, some user or dentist will ask me if the, this, if this product have a very low MEPA skull strength. And uh, if we lay, uh, Reduce is very very thin, maybe zero point two, maybe that is easy chipping and the crack. But I told him the interesting the choose. If you even you choose the four Y or five Y, you can do think in the past. There there is the very high strength, maybe over a one thousand two hundred megapascal reconia. But you create, uh, sorry, you reduction it to a zero point two. They are also easy to break. So it's not the only the 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 the, the six hundred megapascal it is break in the little point two millimeter situation. Every draconia also easy to chip in and the break in the little point two millimeter situation. So uh, for the easy near they keep you a standard thickness is the little point four millimeter to a little point six. And uh, if you are the uh, uh, control, uh, your, your uh, mini, dry, uh, mini drawer, and uh, you can do very careful to reduction and the grounding it. But uh, like me, I'm also can do reduction it to 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 millimeter in the partial area. So not, that is not very difficult. But if you want the mini it in a mini machine to get 0 0.2 millimeter, it's very difficult. Every recognize the same. But we can do mini it in the 0.4 millimeter. After sintering, we can do reduce the thickness and get the more translucent and the more nice aesthetic. We can to see this is in the near and added cameo, the, the glass ceramic. They are very similar in the nice, the, the aesthetic and the translucent. And I say that this is a made for the veneer, also it's breaching veneer. So that is a, a, a recommendation. The setting is 0 0.4 to 0 0.6. But for the margin area, you can do a, a, a setting on the member to, a 0.3 is also very safe. But the must over to a 0 0.2 millimeter. Because of the, when the, the mini machine drill to mini it, sometimes there is a little micro, uh, uh, micro crack. So uh, later we will make the your uh, presenter recording easy to get a quick line and chip in the margin. So for my recommendation, please setting a uh, little point of three in the meaning your presenter recording. And the lead also can to make the very uh, 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 reduction this the crown, like the partial crown uh, uh, or for uh, three, three of the four quarter crown. And uh, you can do state the, the thickness is the 0 0.4 to the 0 0.6 and create a very nice the breaching crown. But the, the, for the draconia, many uh, user will also to, uh, <clears throat> I say that they confuse about the bounding strength and later I will consider it. 
But even you don't to consider any about the money strains, your dentist or the uh, customer or or uh, they prepare the veneer uh, stamp and uh, they create the retention form. Maybe it's uh, over a little to the part of side or uh, open a little in the price more and uh, to create a little retention form. I think you, you just follow the no more uh, authorizing the, the cementation procedure. You also can to make it a very good bumpy trends. So the important thing is about the retention form. But if uh, your dentist then don't create the retention form for you, so we must have to consider and thinking what is the good bonding strategy for your recognition restoration? Why? Because the, if they create a retention form, that is mechanical, uh, that is mechanical uh, resistant. So we can very easily get the nice the retention for your restoration. But if it without the retention form, we must to think create chemical, chemical bonding. So at least in this situation, bonding change is just the first important point that we need to consider it. And now this is the our product list of the easy need. I said that we create the extra Y and the bridging Y and the high value, low value group. And the list is a single color because the for the veneer on the enamel area, sometimes they just the enamel, nothing, not everything. The color chromatic and the multi-layer is on the dentine. So we just give them the enamel layer. But sometimes we want to change the something or uh, make the your restoration easy to finish. You can do choice the bleaching white multi-layer color. And the that is the translucent, uh, sorry, that is multi-layer color, not the multi-layer reconia. And we also have the high value multi-layer and the low value multi-layer. And I say that if we want to uh, create the neutral look and the, and the colors and the to copy or to mimic the neutral keys, and that you can choose the 3D Pro and the maybe 3D Pro, the Hollywood White or 3D Pro A1, B1. But for a bridge area, we can to use the Easy Near. And the Easy Near just have the seven colors, so you don't to store you a lot. And the many user is confused and uh, uh, wanted to know how to choose the right color. And the they also to uh, give you the recommendation color chart. And then you can to see this area is the, uh, I say this apartment, the base color, maybe the bridging base color, A1, the base color, A2, A3, A3.5, A4, and the oil is very dark brown, dark, the, the, the stump color. And this also you can to use the, the Vita shape to compare about the uh, ivory color uh, neutral material dye. Is also can to uh to to find and the very correct color and the, you can also use the this the the color chair to find that you want the the material, and I say uh, you can to see this is a very popular area is a bright uh, brightness room. I say maybe every patient like to make layers in here. This is a very bright and the and the white, and the least is the pink area is the neutral room. It also can to create a bridge color white, but the, the important thing is we know the human enamel is the, the translucency, not transparency. So if you have the translucency layer on the dentine or a human to teeth, that will uh, make the value uh, down. So it's not the very brightness. But uh, we want to create a bridging shades one, uh, we want to create a translucent brightness. But uh, in this area, we can create a bridging shade, but uh, it's the low value and the more close to the neutral teeth. So I say this area is neutral wrong. And the color cover wrong is mean, we use uh, this uh, uh, easy near product light to uh, uh, cover uh, this very dark, the, the stump, maybe the entry point, the, five or A4 or brown dark or A root color, you can make a layer brightness, but that is not the, the, the really brightness color or the low value color. Maybe lay is the, uh, will affect a little uh, the, 
the base color. So if you are bridging shirt, uh, maybe you you see the two cover the uh, entry point fine. Maybe let it become a very light A1, but at least A1 is a little dark and uh, a, a little green and a little brown. It's not a, a, a real A1 color, but the value and the enamel is the, is the A1, but the denting is not the A1. So it's very close A1 and then not the real A1. That can to match the V dot pen A1, but it's very close A1 and similar A1. So I say it's the color cover wrong. And I say if you wanted to uh, make the like the real teeth uh, and the copy mimic layer uh, colorization, maybe you can to choose a 3D Pro system. And I say this is a very popular area. It's the brightness room, and the, every patient, young lady, they like the, this area. So we can do easy to make the the bridging teeth and the brightness and the translucence. And I say this is a neutral wrong, is a low value and the more close to the neutral teeth, but that is also still the breaching shirt. And that this is the cover area. And the, we also uh, want to know how to choose the right color and uh, to use the easy near. And we must uh, to know the first things that this color chart, how to use. So maybe uh, for example, like this case, and uh, this patient is the, uh, maybe it's the, uh, I said it's in the uh, a very, very least reduction, even it's like the no reduction, paper least the veneer. And this patient, he's the target color, he wants to make his veneer to close the BL4 to the BL3. And uh, the dentist reduction, uh, meaning uh, a lot, uh, sorry, it, it's the, uh, it's very, very least, not that, sorry. It's very, very least the reduction, maybe 0.4 to 0.5, and uh, you focus on the plasma area. And the stumper best shape is the A2, and the K9 is the A3. And he wanted to create his the veneer to BR3, and uh, sorry, BR4 to BR3. And the how to choose that we want, we can to uh, see these, the, color chai and uh, my recommendation, first the time to choose the stumble color, this area, A2 and the A3. So first time to choose the stumble color and the second to choose the reduction and the, your final uh, restoration thickness. So that is 0.4 to 0.5, 0.4. And then we can do find this area. So you can use the EW to make the breaching for plus, and uh, you use the X also can to make the breaching for plus. And uh, for the 0 0.4 in the BW, you also can to make it the breaching for plus and the A3 stumble to make the breaching for. So that is the very easy help to you find the right the material and you can to use the BW or EW. And if you want in more brightness, and you can choose the EW, and you uh, let it the uh, more neutral, you can to choose the BW. So that is very easy. So finally, this is the patient, and the, uh, after consider, maybe I want they have the maybe the uh, a transition color. I want the. The, the, the central is more brightness and the retro is a little dark. So we chose the BW. And this is, uh, this is the patient. And uh, uh, this is uh, before a prep. And uh, this is uh, his the mocha temp. And uh, this is the after. And uh, we can do see the central teeth is more brightness and uh, <coughs> On the canine area is a little dark and we can do see the color is a transition. So it's easy and they help you to uh, choice and uh, find the right the material uh, shirt number. And this is another case, is uh, the same way to choice the material and also to, to uh, reference from the color chart. And then we can to see this case. And this patient, after this is after preparation, is also not a lot. And the patient's target color want to be of two, 
and the reduction space is also 0.4 mm. And the stubble base is the A1, it's just only the right lateral inside, so it's the A2 to A3. So it's not a very difficult case. And the same way to choose our right color. First time to, to choose the stump base color is here, is the A1. And to find the reduction space, is a, that is the final uh, restoration thickness. And it's a real point of meaning. And uh, here's the one that is the BL2. So we can do find this, this area. Little point of three, uh, little point of four millimeter, and the little point six millimeter also can to make the BL two. So this case I to use the EW. So this way it's very easy to uh, you can to find that you want material and the color share in the, this color chart. And the, this is uh, this case, and the, we use uh, uh, I I supply the, the the this connector in the in the code. For the bumping strength, and later I will explain about it. And I, I adjust the surface and I use a biomaker to finish. And this is the final. So it's, a, it's also very easy. So this is to make the bridging share the re a restoration for the patient, and it's a bridging smile. And then another way is uh, you also can to use the, the added product, the EDNA share the matching. This is an interesting, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a curve and uh, have a different thickness, the real easy near the cornea to create the, the shirt tape. So you can directly use it in the patient's mouth and uh, also can to apply the gel or the water or the liquid on the, uh, in the background, in the back, sorry, in the back. And that the right put it in the patient's mouth. And you can do see that is very translucent. So we can direct put it in the patient's teeth, and uh, you can to find the reference and uh, to uh, think uh, to find uh, look the uh, final color. You can to see when you eat put it on here. This is the final color when uh, after use the translucent cementation as uh, some uh, cement. This color is is uh, our final target and final color. So for the dent dentist and the technician can easily use it this way to find the you want the 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 the, the shared number of the engineer you can do see so this is not the very difficult way and uh, i must uh, say that for to create the zirconia material as uh, the zirconia veneer have the many advantage but uh, I think less the big the, 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 the disadvantage just of the bonding. So later I will explain and, uh, and uh, tell you the, how to make the good. But uh, for only the create the, the old ceramic, the veneer restoration, I think the Reconia Mancata procedure is easy than the glass ceramic and also better than the glass ceramic. Because the procedure, everything is easy. And they have a good, the, the, the uh, I think it's a, they, we can do get the good, the, the, the high strength and the good and the margin, margin, uh, margin shape. And that we also can to make it, is, um, uh, uh, make the morphology more better than the ceramic. So this is the nice and the interesting solution for the nowadays then uh, chair side. Uh, work solution. So maybe we can do think that maybe this is another choice. And the, the, the bigger problem and the every user is confused is about the Reconia bonding. Why? Because everyone know Reconia is the polycrystalline ceramic. And the light, they are very similar to alumina because the layer without any uh, silica and the glass inside. So when we don't to have the glass, we can to use the HFS to each it. So if we can each it, we can do it to make the rough surface. Huh? Oh, sorry. So if we without the glass, we can do etch in the surface so we can to get the rough surface. So let can to easy 
uh, offer a nice uh, mechanical uh, uh, retention for the cornea. And uh, we also can do uh, easy get the nice the bunting strength in the patient's mouth. So that is why uh, many users worry about it to make the cornea vernier. And the reconia, E3 reconia is the stabilized reconia group is here. So how to make it get the good the bonding for your reconia restoration? And then we can do see this, the, the picture. And this is the to the substrate. And uh, this is the reconia frame. In when we wanted to cement it, we must make the ceramic primer on the reconia surface and use the bonding agent in the to the, the substructure surface and the jar inside in the middle between the resin cement. But the reconia is very gross and the fine surface. So I say that it can to be itching. It's not very difficult to create a rough surface. So just only use the resin cement is not easy over the nice bonding strains. So we must have to think how to make it good. So reconia surface pretreatment is very important. First thing we must uh, clear our reconia surface before cementation. How to do? We can use a stand breasting or use the eyeball clear. It's a very nice the liquid and the product and to help you clear your reconia surface is easy or use the acid to etch in the reconia surface. HF is also can to uh, clear your reconia surface, but uh, don't do too much and, uh, and apply it and keep it too long. Because you use the HF acid on your reconia surface, pure reconia surface too much time, maybe will damage your reconia. So this is, a, uh, this is another topic, but uh, I, my recommendation, uh, maybe use the center breasting or other clear is more easy. And the second way is the uh, second step is rough surface, uh, roughness your reconia surface and the center breasting is a very good way. So I said, you maybe use the center breasting, you can to uh, finish in the two step. And the I stage you also can do roughness the surface, uh, reconia surface, but the is not the very nice function on the cornea. And the fi final step is activation your reconia surface. We can to use the NDP primer or plasma to make the reconia surface easy and friendly for uh, for uh, uh, hydro sorry hydro hydro. Um, uh, it's more friendly for your your resin cement, and then they will can can to uh, 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 touch the surface more more good and well. So this is a this is a step. Send the breast in and uh, uh, apply the NDP primer. Finally, use the adhesive for resin cement. And the many uh, now uh, recent years, a lot of the article show the interesting. If you use the this the step, this uh, uh, right step uh, one two three, and uh, you can make your reconia get a nice the bonding. It's uh, uh, very close the. The this in DC can collect ceramic the bonding strength. We can to see the average of the articles. Reconia the bonding, uh, you can to follow this step, but you can get uh, maybe the, the average is uh, the 12.6. It's very close, the this in DC can the 17.1. So uh, it's, that is the almost the, the seven, uh, 75 percent bonding strength from the uh, uh, land, the, oh, sorry, 75% the bonding strength as the leasing district. So I think it's not bad, especially if you are a dentist or your customer give you a retention form. So if you can get the both and the follow the right step, you never to worry about your reconia restoration is very easy to debunk. In the world, nothing is 100%, but we can do far right step and make everything the good and the well. I think you can get the nice result. And uh, uh, many the user or, and, uh, and the dentist will want to know uh, which brand and, uh, and, uh, and which thing is good for use. 
So maybe this is my recommendation, but you can do choice that you want. They are not the 100% can to fix you, but I think you can do find that you want and then maybe you can do buy or you have like this material. And I said stand the price thin, uh, maybe you can use the, 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 the 15, uh, 50 uh, unimicro alumina particle and the, the air pressure, maybe the two, uh, two, two, three bar. And if you want to use the each way, maybe you can use the 5% HF to the acid, apply on your reconia surface, the 20 second to the 60 second. If you use the 95% HF acid, maybe you apply this on your reconia surface, the 20 second to the 30 second, and then you can clear it, and then you can do also roughness, and then you can uh, make the good, the, the pre-treatment reconia surface. And the second step is that we apply the NTP primer, and then maybe you can use the Ibocola Monobond Plus. And I know uh, now that many uh, company or many cater, they create the, the multi-function uh, bonding plus, uh, bonding liquid. Maybe they also can have a self e chain. But in my opinion, if you want to use the Reconia, please the spread this step is more safe because we never know if you use the multi-function on the Reconia. Maybe they will affect the something. And now that we don't have a lot of the article can to uh, uh, for sure the, this is a right and good. But uh, for the listening to CK or the cholesterol, I think the self aging maybe uh, show us is not bad, the, the, the result. But uh, for Reconia, maybe we need after three years or five, five years, we just can to uh, uh, get the more right, the, the final result support us to use uh, this material. But then uh, now in here and in now, I might recommend is to spread this step. So if you want to uh, use the NTP primer, every brand you can to use, but I just uh, give you more popular and the bigger brand is either Kala Monobond Plus, or you can to use a Biscotti primer, or a GC the Multi Primer, or the QRA Clear Field Ceramic Primer. They are also have the NTP content and uh, they can do activation your Reconia surface. And finally, for my uh, opinion, I more recommend you to use the self Q or self Q uh, resin cement. Of course, you can use a dual Q, but the for the light Q is a little dangerous. It's, it, you can also to use it, but we we must uh, to know every the the, the light Q dual and the light Q layer LED lights is the different uh, different power. And uh, every zirconia is a different thickness. So you must be uh, very careful totally curing every area. So sometimes you have uh, some mistake or some area is not curing very uh, well. Maybe in this area, your uh, cement is not the total setting. So this is a danger. So in my opinion, maybe possible you want to use a resin cement on zirconia restoration, maybe it's a safe, uh, safe Q or a dual Q is more better. And uh, some uh, resin cement also have an NDP content. So I think it's also good for the Reconia. So maybe the Curare Panamia as a uh, cement plus is a nice choice or the GC, GSEN Link Force or the Sri and Rory as in universal resin cement. And the other class B sand plus is also is the sub Q and the DOQ. And then we know uh, every company and uh, many uh, user want to get the nice the uh, Reconia bonding. So many company medicate also to develop a different way. But I say now this is a three way in the in the marketing and also sell it. But I must uh, say for uh, uh, use the strong the acid to etch in your Reconia is very dangerous and they will broken and the damage to the Reconia surface for user is also very high risk and it's dangerous. And the DMAS is interesting. This applied, uh, uh, I don't know what is this. They say it's applied the, the, the glass, the, the, the particle on the Reconia surface before sintering. After sintering, I'm, I don't know uh, why the glass can do contain it. And the finally is the is the cloud the etching system is also interesting is the low percentage is maybe is nine per uh, nine percent or ten percent HF acid. But uh, if we want to use it to etch in your reconia, you can do directly use the nine percent 
uh, HFH to apply in the cornea surface, maybe the 10 minutes to the 30 minutes. You also can to get the reconia have a, a rough surface, but that is also mean your reconia surface the damage. So this is not good thing. And the, this is the three ways also a uh, uh, very interesting thing we can to find the uh, article and evidence to support uh, this way for uh, uh, for us can to see the high bound distance for reconia. Sometimes a uh, a strong high high strong uh, sorry high percentage very strong acid to uh etching the cornea surface i also to find that the other article show is the not good restoration and then maybe it's a no function so this is interesting so uh maybe nowadays the right to etching the cornea use the acid to etching the cornea is the not the good way because we can to find many articles show is the no function or not good and the uh, interesting is the we know if we want to add change the cornea surface for for the bonding strength, I think the decent CK or the cholesterol the better because the EMS or the Coma or the or the this is a show a lot of article at the advanced for us. This can to over good bonding strength. So uh Edit the development is the interesting the product the DC connector spray. We can do spray it on the reconia surface. And after the backing, we can do see this is interesting. The DC connector will diffuse the interframe into the reconia surface. And then we can do see is the is a is a uh, I said uh, in in filtered layer. And the layer can to a uh, uh, Get the very good mechanical bonding and the reconia, the, 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 the space and the particle size, the space is the, the, uh, the feel for the, the leasing, leasing material. So we can to make it the, uh, have the good connecting and uh, connect and get the nice the mechanical bonding. And the next, the next step we can to follow the same leasing DCK etching procedure to etching the this the this connect there and uh, after the this step uh, we can to use uh, the red uh, the, the normal cementation procedure to finish this crown and that uh, we can get a very nice the bond distance so this is another way and another concept and uh, i must uh, tell you this is also the interesting thing i say the other way for uh use the the the, the high, uh, strong Acid to etch in the reconia surface can any article to support it. And for this material is the same. So I make the article and, uh, and uh, I popped it to, I send it to the, the science, the article. I think maybe after the, the, the three months or the four months later we will publish you and I can to show you more of the data and uh, the, the, my results. So this is an interesting thing. But nowadays, if you believe it, you can to use. If you don't believe it, you can to use the traditional way. I said the clear surface and the roughness and the advancing. So that is mean maybe use a send the blasting MP primer and the, uh, and the self self Q resin cement. You also can to get the not bad the bounding strength of the cornea restoration, not only for uh, reconia veneer, even you are very short. Uh, short length crown or all the or, or, or neck or all or, the or, 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 or taper, the, the abutment is the same. You can get the nice the bonding strength for your deconia restoration. But uh, I said, that if you can to see the deconia surface, I spread the, this is the connector you need, and after the each one, then I'll send the, this in this DK. So we can to get uh, give you a very nice and strong the bonding strength. And this is my first study, and I also make the second study. And I might test. Uh, other the user ask me maybe the five uh, five percent HF acid or nine percent HF acid, which one is better? I can tell you, it is also nice because you can to see the NT is the no treatment the cornea. If we don't to uh, 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 pre treat the surface, uh, the red user uh, resin cement to to finish it, you can get the bonding strength very low and the 
use the, the send the breast steam procedure and we can get the med better. And uh, this is after send the breast steam, I also, uh, after send the breast steam, I apply the, apply the NTME primer and uh, use the self, uh, self cured uh, resin cement. And the GS is I apply the least and then not the itching. But what we can do see is a nice the surface friendly. So even if it's not the etching, and uh, we uh, uh, you, uh, apply the NTME primer and, and after cementation, we also get it a very similar and a nice. But if we use the DC connector and the after the etching, use the 5% HF acid to etching it, and the, we can get the very nice the, the bonding strength. And the, even if it's over lender, this in this decay because the DC connector is the high extent uh, high dentist material, so it have have uh, very strong and uh, a lot of uh, this in this and the glass inside. So after each you can get very nice the bond strength. And uh, for if I use the nine percentage the HF acid to etching uh, this surface this uh, this connector surface, and uh, we can get the better length because that. Uh, make it more roughness, but uh, this is a little danger. Why? Because if you supply it too thin, or you you are over the time, maybe the your uh, your listening disc will become more uh, rounded. So maybe it is not good. So my my recommendation: you just use the five percent is, is very well. But if you want more strong, maybe you can to try using the nine percent HF acid. Is also good, but uh, please careful control the etching time. This is an important thing. And uh, come back to see uh, here, we can to see the traditional way we can to use a center breasting procedure and the MDP primer and the, uh, and, and the civil resin cement. We can to see here. I say this is an article show us is average, uh, average the bonding strength is uh, uh, 12.4. And uh, this in this get the seven uh, seventeen point one, and uh, if I use the DC connect to uh, do it, and uh, we can to see, we I use the DC connect etching twenty second, I can to get the seven seventeen point nine is over land uh, over land uh, the average of the articles, and uh, use the nine uh, DC connect to etching the one hundred. This is a five percent. HF and uh, use this connect to etch in the 100 uh, seconds. I can to get the 20.2. And uh, this is a Draconia, just only use the D primer. I can to get it's a very similar the advantage of the article, Draconia bonding. And uh, this LD I use the, to test by myself, it's not the article advantage. This I use the Coma to test the uh, this in this secret bonding strength uh, in the stem procedure. I get the, the stem. So this is interesting. So I think they are the same. So my my study can to compare in the in in the uh, 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 I think the, this is the uh, evidence. So when you know how to control and use it, maybe you to finish your daily work is not difficult. Maybe like the, this case report and this patient also uh, wanted to make the veneer and the dentist discussed with me with the uh, choice the Reconia veneer because he want brightness and, uh, and the high translucent Reconia. And I also use the easy near and the, I, I remember this is the, the, the BW. And I all use the DC connect supply inside and after the bag and the uh, surface treatment, the colorizing to create and the use of biomic to stain and the 3D and to create a enamel layer. And this is the finish. And this is the finish in the patient's mouth. And this is the, immediate, uh, this is the immediate debilitary, sorry, the, this, the, 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 the gun and the tissue is not beautiful, but uh, I, I want always a uh, uh, dentist to recall, maybe one day I can to get the more nice, the, the gingerbread tissue photo. And this case is the same. 
And then this case is not used in the year. Uh, this want to uh, make the, his the, uh, final disorder more close and neutral. So I chose the 3D Pro and also apply very thin uh, ceramic on the surface. And uh, they also have the dark stamper. So I want to cover it. I use the, the opaque liner uh, apply in the surface, uh, the two crown inside. And I supply the this incarnator on the veneer inside. And this is after the back. So this is the final result. I cover the, the discoloration stumper. And I also to get a nice the bonding strength in the two veneer. So this is the now that I share my express about the, uh, about the, the engineer. And uh, I must tell you, this is clear for the uh, British insurance, not for the uh, old situation. So don't, don't to think and, uh, and, uh, and have a dream this can to finish and uh, match the everything. Because every product and uh, every color, they are have the, the, the good, the uh, good for every, uh, sorry. Not everything is perfect. They are create is the uh, a target for the, some strategy or some treatment. And the, they create the easy near to wonderful for a shape. But if you want to create a neutral teeth, you can do choice of 3D Pro. So this is my recommendation and my, my user concept. So and the, today, the, thanks for your attention and uh, thanks for your listen my sharing. Thank you. If you have any question, maybe we can do uh, discussing it, or if, if I can, I will to answer you. Uh, I will answer you. So, who is the moderator? <laughs> Thank you. I would like to know which is the minimum thickness that you can you can achieve with this material. Uh, you say minimal thickness to choice yes. the material. Uh, finally, if you want to get a nice the, 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 the color to cover and uh, get the you want the, the result, I think 0 0.4 is good. But uh, if you uh, just uh, you want to get more high translucent, sometimes I will do reduction and the uh, grounding uh, the, the margin area or uh, the, the edge part, and I can to make it the more translucent. You can do, uh, if you possible, you can to try, if you ground in the, the edge part and the partial it, you can to find the hollow effect, hollow okay. effect uh, the, 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 on your Reconia restoration. This is interesting. You can to see the Reconia edge area have the hollow effect. It's a very high translucent. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks, Mr. Kang. Yeah, for the training. And uh, the following part is the second part of today's training. Yeah. It's product, uh, product marketing training. Yeah. And I will share this part to you. Yeah. Okay, you can see my presentation. Maybe later I will see the, the question and the, the, the when Roy finishing his part, I will answer you. Yeah, the third part is the Q and the A part, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, as the product manager of the engineer, yeah, uh, I'm not only responsible for, 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 for developing this material, but also for, but also I need to maybe sell, sell them out, yeah, and maybe for several cases, yeah, because I need to find out whether this material meets the needs of our customer. And uh, I need to make sure that uh, my definition and uh, also the market pos positioning of this material is right. Yeah. And uh, here, okay, sorry. 
No está bravía. Yeah. Ok. ¿Cómo se llama? 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 你按一下Play才可以全屏吧 你重新，你不要分享这个屏幕，你先按play，你先分享到，分享到PPT的那个，你懂我意思？不要分享app，对对，我会想到分享app会有问题。OK，你先跳出去，先中断分享，然后再分享全屏幕。Is it someone ask a question? Uh, uh, we uh, can we to apply any ceramic on the easy near surface or 3D Pro? I said yes, you can. Don't worry about the the, the ceramic the bonding strength. If you uh the, the design your Reconia frame, it's the the uh the edge area is all all Reconia and then, and, and the patient buy never to churn and bite it. You don't to apply any the adhesive the 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 material with your reconia, but if you uh create the is the crown and you cut the edge part and I think you must apply the some adhesive the connecting with your reconia maybe the uh the the liner the emsf reconia liner or the hero strong have the adhesive. Or maybe the 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 creation have a friend HT, and if possible, you also go to spread the disconnect on the surface after the back and the direct to apply the positioning on your reconia friend. You also can to get the very nice the bond strength. And the carpet is no problem. I I I very usually use the the surface carpet, just only facial carpet. And uh, for uh, the uh, the mini mean during the mini and the mini procedure, my recommendation is setting your thickness is a uh, please don't under a uh, little point of three millimeters. Sometimes I ever to try the little point of three millimeters it's very well and the nice the after mini result. But if possible, set the recommendation the little point of four millimeter. If you setting zero point two millimeter. They are very easy broken uh, in your margin, and uh, sometimes it's easy to uh, you will throw it on your machine. Okay. Okay. Do you think this drawing is good? Ah, the drawing is not good. Hey, can you see it now? Okay. 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 Okay.
also want to sh to share with you that the, the size of the market is now right now is, is a huge, very huge yeah and the after we launched uh, we launched the uh, engineer of the engineer in china yeah and also uh, have some successful cases and i will share with you later in this presentation and uh, here is uh, some uh, test vitamin matters, yeah. And uh, you can see that it has two meanings of the test vitamin. And one is to use the object to, uh, to adhere to the surface of the test, yeah, to cover the color of the test. Yeah. And uh, so that the color of the test becomes white. And another is to put some maybe chemical uh, drugs on the surface or inside the test, yeah and they react with the teeth to whiten the color of the teeth themselves, yeah. And uh, here is four matters, yeah. Here I put, uh, put in my, put in this page, yeah. And first one is tooth cleaning, yeah. Uh, tooth cleaning is uh, the most uh, common oral uh, healthcare method, I think, yeah. But uh, strictly, it's not, uh, uh, it cannot whiten your teeth, yeah. They can only help you to remove, some, remove something you don't want to, want that on your teeth, from your teeth, uh, making your teeth look whitened, yeah. A strictly not a whitening matter, yeah. And the second one is the whitening stickers, yeah. Uh, whitening stickers is a cheap and convenient matter to do the whitening of your teeth. But it may cause uh, the, the teeth sensitivity and maybe the irritation to the soft tissues of, of, the, of your mouth and the gums, yeah. And uh, the, sec the third method is the coat light whitening. And uh, I think the coat light whitening is the most uh, maybe popular whitening technology at this moment. And it's known as that, however, some patients reported that not only did they not don't get to whiten after the surgery, yeah, but their teeth were still sore, and uh, there was even uh, possibilities of the rebound of the color of the teeth, yeah. And uh, the, the last one is veneer. Yeah. Veneer means uh, good aesthetic effect and also stable and durable material, yeah. And the porcelain veneer is now the mainstream of the market, yeah. And the cost of the, this, I mean, this whitening method, uh, I mean, the veneer is relatively high, yeah. But uh, I believe that with the improvement of the living standards and the, the, and the people's in pursuit of the beauty and the safety, I think maybe the veneer will become the most popular, yeah, whitening method in the future. Okay, talking about veneers, yeah. Uh, there's two kinds of veneers, yeah. First one is the resign veneers, and the second one is the porcelain veneers. And the advantage of the resign veneer is that uh, the surface form, yeah, and the basic color of the teeth can be restored, and the procedure is shorter, and also the cost is relatively low. Yeah. But it also has uh, some uh, disadvantages, like the lower strength, easily wear out, uh, easily, dis easily discolored, and not durable. Yeah. And compared to the resign veneers, yeah, the porcelain veneers have a lot of uh, advantages, like it's more beautiful and not easy to discolor and not easily to be wear out, and it's very durable. Yeah. And also a good about competitivity. And you can see there is three uh, kinds of porcelain veneers yeah, below. Yeah, the first one is porcelain veneers, and many for uh, glass ceramic. Okay, uh, here uh, here's two uh, different uh, uh, porcelain veneers. Yeah, uh, I call them the traditional veneers. Yeah, and the first one is porcelain veneers. Yeah, 
And the advantage of the positive linears is that it can be made only maybe 0 0.3 to 0 0.5. Millimeter thickness with a very good of some disadvantages, maybe for the few indications. Yeah, it's a complicated process and a high charge. Yeah, and it's very easy to break when it falls off. And also, uh, it has a very high uh, requirements for the technicians to build uh, a porcelain veneers. Yeah, and uh, as to the pressing veneers, yeah, it also have uh, the advantages to be compared with the porcelain veneers. The process is a simple, simple, yeah, and uh, the price is, is relatively cheaper, yeah. But uh, still, with some disadvantages like the pure opaque ability, still too complicated and it requires more manual parti participation. And uh, as to compare to the traditional veneers, here is the kid cam veneers, yeah. And uh, now the most Popular KitKam veneers material is uh, glass ceramic. It has the uh, KitKam processing and also the simple process. Hair strength and the porcelain veneers, yeah, the poor opaque ability. And all those can be still crack in the clinic, yeah. And, uh, you also know that the cornea is also a kilkem you know, material, very popular in lab, also very popular in the uh, in the clinic. Yeah, but why you know we don't use it to make veneers because uh, Mr. Khan already tell us in his, in his presentation that uh, uh, when, when, we, when we use uh, when we use the cornea to make veneers, it's usually usually uh, easy to fall off. Yeah, because it cannot very get a very good you know. The bonding with the teeth when we didn't put our lazy connect to the market. Yeah. And since we put our lazy connect into the market, yeah, the, the need the easy near and the, the bio make lazy connect, the combination of the yeah, the supplies our, to our customer that uh, a solution to use um, the cornea to make veneers. Okay, here comes the first question. Why, why develop the cornea veneer material? Also, I think this question equals to um, why our customer needs to make to use the cornea to make veneers. Yeah. Okay, I think the first uh, answer is hair stress. Yeah. You know, the three point value stress of the cornea is at least 40% higher than that of glass ceramic. Yeah. High, but high, but higher band stress means it's the, the, the restoration, I mean, the veneer will not easy to break. Uh, no matter when the, the dentist put this veneer into the mouth of the, uh, uh, the, the patients, or when the daily use of the patients, yeah, it will not easy to break than the, the, the glass ram. So the patient and dentist get very satisfied, yeah. Due to the higher strength. And the second reason is the stronger opaque ability. Yeah. Uh, I also talked with some dentists in China that uh, they, they want the reason that they want to use a zirconia to make veneers is because of the opaque ability of, of the cornea is better than the other veneer material. Yeah. That means uh, the dentist can. Do more indications, yeah. When, especially for the uh, patients that their teeth is not the color of their teeth is very dark, it's not very good, yeah. Then the patient and also then the patient with the dark teeth also can get a better uh, restoration uh, eff of effect, yeah, by using the cornea, yeah, to do the veneers. Then the patient and the dentist also get very satisfied. And the third reason is that uh, the cornea is also a kit cam material. Yeah. And uh, we all know that uh, kit cam material means a very simple process. Yeah. And also means that the quality is, it can be controlled. Yeah. It has a standard of quality. And also for kit cam material compared to the traditional material, we have the advantage of low co lower cost and uh, faster delivery. 
and also it will have a lower price in the end market yeah. Okay, so here comes uh, the other material. I think the first, the first answer is that it's an exclusive vitamin system. Uh, Mr. Khan already uh, told me in his, his presentation. Yeah, and you can see the color of, of and you can see the transparency. Yeah, translucency of uh, is near. I mean the EW. Yeah, it's between the uh, translucency of. Uh, Emax HT and uh, LT, I mean the color of BR1. So you don't, you don't, you don't need to worry that the aesthetic effect of the cornea making a veneer is not good. Yeah. And also, you can see the picture here. Yeah. Uh, the first one is the uh, material from Emax that uh, is the uh, uh, press HO, yeah, HO0. Yeah. And you can see. Uh, people, uh, the dentist usually use this material to do the opaque cases, yeah. But you can see the color is, is so white, yeah. It didn't, it has nearly no translucency yeah, anymore, yeah. And you can look at the third, yeah, it's EW color from uh, is near, yeah. It's also enough white, but it's also have the translucency. And they are both uh, 0.5 millimeters thickness. Okay. The second uh, answer for why choose Isenia over the others as a kind of material is the exclusive bonding solution. Yeah, I mean the combination of Isenia and uh, uh, Biomechanical Easy Connect. And uh, in the future, we will sell this uh, these two products together. Yeah, not not separately. Yeah. So the, the strong bonding means that uh, the dentist will not worry about using uh, the cornea veneer. Yeah, so the patients and the dentists also get very satisfied because of the strong bonding effect. Okay, for the for the third part is uh, product marketing. Yeah, um, I think it's a very good uh, uh, good opportunity for us to to share, to change our opinion on the, our successful experience for the product marketing and. Uh, here is the product definition. Yeah, product definition. I think I want to share with you that is the one the cornea specially developed for veneers. Yeah, and also uh, for the clinic, is near is a new veneer material with the advantages below. Yeah, here I want to tell you that uh, we don't want to show to all the dentists maybe is near is uh, is a, a cornea material. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a new veneer material. With the advantages, I mean the highest binding stress when your material. I think, yeah. And second is a strong opaque ability, and uh, third is the exclusive exclusive veneer whitening color system. I mean with the shade matcher, yeah, and also the, the shade guidance. And the, the last one is a strong bonding veneer material, and uh, due to the test, yeah, the bonding stress. Uh, Mm, compare of is near is maybe higher than that of glass ceramic. And uh, also for the lab, it uh, is near is a new can cam veneer material. Yeah, with the advantage below. Yeah. The first one is the low material cost compared to the glass ceramic because uh, the uh, is near is a block one. Yeah, you can mill maybe uh, at least 30. Uh, veneers from one block. Yeah. So the material cost compared to glass, glass is, is lower compared to glass ceramic. And also second is, is the cornea is a soft material. Yeah, It's easy to process, I mean, to milling in the lab. But, you know, also compared to glass ceramic, yeah, because glass ceramic is also a kit cam material. Yeah. And also uh, for the lab, the engineer can can supply you a digital workflow, yeah, compared to the, the pressing ceramic, yeah. And uh, also for the product marketing position of this, I want to build a brand that if anyone wants to make uh, the cornea veneers, 
the first thing that comes to, to their mind is easy meal. Yeah. I think that's what we can do together to build a, a, a very strong brand called easy meal. And also the customer positioning is that the lab and the clinic that makes the most of the meals. Uh, why I want to uh, I want to do the explanation why we choose the lab and the clinic that makes the most of the meals at the first stage, yeah. Because uh, in the clinical part, yeah, I think also in the lab, I think uh, one who are already making a, a lot of veneers have the experience to sell the veneers and also the experience to make veneers, yeah. So uh, as veneer is a new material for making veneers, I think the first stage I mean, for the customer in the first stage, it is the lab and the clinic that makes the most of the meals. And maybe the lab and the clinic who seldom make more meals is also, is also, is also our, our customer, but maybe it's the next stage. And here I also, also uh, uh, can supply you uh, FFAV. Yeah, uh, I think some maybe know that. They, it's a principle, yeah. Uh, FFAB is featured on the second half function, and the A means advantage, and the B means benefit. Yeah. And when you keep saying that your product is good, yeah, the customer may think that you are deliberately promoting the effect of your product, uh, which is more difficult for the customer to accept. But when you use some method to guide the customer to think along your lines, yeah. The customer maybe sees the visible benefit, and it's easier to choose. The, uh, it's, it's easier to close the deal with our customer. Uh, for example, uh, the first feature of the engineer is that uh, the veneer restoration is made of the cornea material, and then it calls a function that the veneer made of the cornea material has the characteristics of high strength, and the strength is about. 600 MPA. And then this function supplies you an advantage is that the higher strength ensures that the restoration will not easily collapse or crack when it bears a certain force. Yeah. And this advantages can supply a benefit to our customer that it can reduce in the rate of the patients returning for the consultation due to the cracking of the veneer and also saving the doctor's time because we all know that the time for the, for the, for the dentist is, is very important yeah and also another example also the feature is that with this veneer restoration is made of the cornea material and the veneer of the cornea material has the characteristic of strong opaque ability and the advantage is that when the patients with dark, uh, dark abutment teeth use the cornea as veneers, they can cover the color of the, uh, the natural teeth and ensure, and ensure the restoration effect. And then there is a benefit that the dentist can sa safely accept the patients with the dark color, the teeth, natural teeth, and helping the dentist to expand their patient group for veneers. Yeah. And this page uh, has three, uh, three features, three FFAB, and this is all for talking to the dentist. Uh, and there's also three other, yeah, we're talking to a, a customer, yeah, a lab, yeah. And we can see that uh, the shape of the zirconia material is a disc, yeah, and then when doing veneer kit nesting, the nesting utilization rate is high and the disc can get more than maybe 30, 30 pieces of veneers. Yeah. So here comes the advantage that the low cost of a single veneer material. And uh, the labs can get the benefits that uh, they are more profitable when changing from the glass ceramic to the cornea veneers. Yeah. And here I also want to recommend that you that uh, uh, what we what the 
sales mode, yeah, in Chinese market, yeah. Uh, maybe this is a little different, if, uh, I mean, the Chinese market from the international market, but here uh, I, just, I just want to share with the experience, yeah. And you can see whether it's suitable for you. I mean, the authorized uh, sales mode, yeah. Um, so why do, why do we recommend that the, our dealers use the authorized mode to do to do the market of the engineer? And uh, maybe now let's talk about the, what is the authorized mode first, yeah. Authorization is that added, added dealer to some of you live customer and the sale is near only to their only to this customer instead of trying to sell this product to every customer before you know in china china in china in chinese market when we launch a new product yeah our sales manager yeah uh, wants to sell sell the new product to every customer they have yeah. They want to try to sell to sell it to every customer, have, but maybe it's not cost of very good result. Yeah, this authorized uh, lab can also go to the authorized clinics. Yeah, all of the all of the which are authorized by the engineer brand. Yeah. And in this way, we can build the brand through this mode. And uh, we are not uh, selling uh, material called engineer, but also but the engineers called engineer. And also for the authorization, it has three. Uh, advantages uh, I want to share with you. The first one is you can build your brand and increase your profits because if you have a very strong brand, I mean the profits will increase. And second is the accurate positioning of the customers. And uh, you have the limited energy to create the maximum value. Yeah. And this, the last one is to unify the market prices and a wider the price computation. Yeah. If I sell this to everyone, then it will, will, will easily cause the uh, price competition be, between our among of our customers. And uh, here is the uh, authorization mode successful uh, stories I want to share with you. Yeah. The first step is that find several suitable labs according to the product customer position. Yeah. And to make the lab interested in engineers through FFAD or the product testing. Yeah. And the step two is that let the lab invite some dentists and no, to, no need to man yeah, to participate in the product presentation courses. Yeah. And here you can do see the page, the, the, page, the, the pictures below. Yeah. It's a, 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 a engineer presentation courses. Yeah. I talked to some, some maybe 20 dentists. Yeah. So that the lab can see that their dental customers are interested in this new material. And uh, step three, sign the authorization contract with the lab, not just the, the products. Uh, the contract also contains the marketing materials like the shade measure and the guidance of the color and also some, some other things, yeah. And the follow up the promotion courses, and also the follow up of promotion courses. Yeah. And the step four is provide the product marketing training and usage training for the authorized labs. And the step five is to invite the dentist lectures to give the product training and the practical training to the dentist customer of the authorized labs, and help the authorized labs to open up, open up the market. And here you can see the picture is that we invited a very famous yeah, a dentist lectures in, in, in Beijing yeah, to hold a, a courses, yeah, a, a, a promotion courses to the, uh, to the customers of our authorized labs. Yeah. And it gets a very, very good effect. And then uh, all of, I mean, most of the, 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 the dentists attending these courses Want to try this new material, yeah, and this helps uh, the, the labs to open their market, yeah. And uh, uh, here is all of my presentation, and uh, let's come to the, the the last part of today's training. Yeah, we can if you can you have any questions, we can uh, answer your questions. Yeah, here. So anybody has questions to about this new materials? Um, I have a question. 
Yeah, please. You mentioned in your presentation that uh, in the future, the easy mirror with the biomic lease connects will only be sold as a bundle or, I mean, is this the strategy from ADITE or is this just a discussion right now? Okay, yeah. And in the national market, we will sell the Lizzy Connect and the Easy Near together, yeah. Not separately, yeah. yeah. We'll be, you know, we'll be, because, we'll be, for example, if you want to guide the, the Lizzy Connect, yeah, not our Easy Near material, yeah, we cannot do that, yeah. It's a solution, yeah, for making the county veneers. And I think also it's also a uh, it's also help us help our dealers to 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 build a very good uh, atmosphere. I think for this this product, yeah. I I have a question, please. Yes. Thank you for the presentation. It's very nice. Very good job. Do you, do you have any slides or videos showing the application of the Biomic Lizzie spray? You mean the video for the Lizzie Connect? Uh, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, we have, yeah. Maybe we can, so, so where, where, where do you from? I can, uh, I can tell the, 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 the sales manager who is responsible oh, yeah, oh, yeah. for you. Yeah. 因為你們那個影片路都是對的,但是就是那個城市的溫度是錯的哦,所以如果要給人家影片要改過來。啊,那個已經改過來了。哦,OK。Yeah, oh, okay. I the, the video to the uh, sales manager, yeah, who's taking care. Yeah, if you, that would be great. I am Thomas Fusing, I'm the general manager yeah. of Data USA. Okay, Thomas, yeah. It's very convenient and, to use the easy connect, easy connect to yeah, I have um, one of our technicians here is asking for a video, one of our advocates. And uh, if you could send that to Roy to send to me, that would be great, please. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. Okay. Or was that Roy? So I, I see a question I can do answer. It's the, uh, some participants ask, uh, do you recommend you up the low temperature ceramic or high temperature ceramic on easy near um, because the in in my opinion i like to use the low temperature ceramic maybe like the emas gcdc or uh here as the 750 or the creation ls because the reconia uh even is the easy near don't uh, to back it to high temperature because the reconia is the uh, I said, as I say, the, the, the heat inert, so we don't to uh, back it to high temperature and the cross down, high temperature cross down. This is the back the cycle is not good. So in my opinion, I always recommend that to use the low temperature uh, ceramic to build up on it. And uh, my in my lab, I use the, the GC initial DC. This is the 716. The uh, low fuels in uh, the ceramic. Yeah, here's another question that he, he wants to know that if you, we can use uh, Easy Connect on the 3D Pro cross and veneers, yeah. And you can feel it's very okay to use uh, Easy Connect on a 3D Pro or Easy Near, yeah. Or other, or other you know, the, the, the kind of materials, yeah. Because of this connect, you can do supply it on any zirconia material. And you, I must say, you also can do, you see the supply on the zirconia surface uh, outside, like the coping or a framework when you want to uh, build up any ceramic on it. Because of this connect is more friendly and that will become the, 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 uh, the, 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 uh, I must uh, say the adhesive layer for the ceramic. So if you uh, 
before two layer server you use a, a separate this connect on the Konya surface to bake it, you can get a nice the bonding strength with your ceramic powder. And if you also to uh this is another interesting solution. If you also like to uh to create, you know, the the refractory dye, you know, the refractory but uh ceramic is like a field space. If you want to uh, apply ceramic on it, you can also use a DC condensed the bright on the refractory dye surface, and then you can uh, apply the maybe the, the Reconia, like the creation CT or the or the or the uh, EMAS or the or the DC, uh, initial DC to create a field specific ceramic veneer or the crown, the jacket crown. Okay. Mm, any more questions? Uh, you can feel free to ask questions here. Yeah. Uh, Roy, uh, it's not a question, but it's more of a comment. Okay, uh, this is is Thomas still here? Thomas, I yes, I am here. Okay, Thomas, because yes. we 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 didn't launch. Okay, this is Jason from Taiwan. Okay, uh, we're the eight I dealer in Taiwan. We didn't start selling these in here yet, but we already launched the uh, the Lisi Connect, and it's quite well received in Taiwan. So it's really you know it's kids. You cannot physically see the effects. But if you explain yeah. to the customers how this is more of a material that you use to help increase the bonding strength. And so we, we the, the labs that have bought from us, there's quite a few number of labs I've already repurchased, you know, the second or third bottle. So this is really a product you need to launch as soon as possible. I, I understand. We have some difficulties here with it in the U.S., but you know, I think what we're basically looking for is once it's sprayed on thickness to see what how exactly thick it should go on or if it shows that in the video. It's a catch twenty two, okay, because you actually don't need a very thick layer, but then if it's too thin, then the lab will use the bottle forever. So. I gotcha. I understand exactly what you're saying. Okay, very well. If Roy could send me a video, that would be great. Okay, I will send you a video later. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Paul, thank you. Before, can we color the engineer before center? Mm, can we get should be should be see? If uh for the easy easy near, if you want to use the color liquid in green stage, you stand it. If also possible, but in my recommendation, maybe we don't need. But if you want, you can do, do that. But uh, uh, careful because this the uh, easy con uh, easy near is a five Y TZP, so it's a tetragonal reconia polycrystal that. So it's the five Y, and you want to uh, color in it with the liquid. Please, the must make sure let it dry out just put it in the center furnace because this is more weak uh, weakness the, the the material so if you use the color liquid and you not the totally dry it when uh, put it in the furnace to centering it is very dangerous and i said maybe if you want to create the shade b shade c shade d and uh, it's, it's very like the Vita shape. I, I think maybe you just choose the 3D Pro. You don't need to use the Easy Nia. Easy Nia is a, for a bridging, bridging share group. But if you want to use it to create the art uh, color, I, I think it's also possible. But maybe maybe you don't need to do this. 
Yeah, maybe you can use 3D Pro there directly, yeah. Yeah. Or the way the beta is shaped there. And because it's nearest mainly for use the nearest uh, many for, for the whitening, yeah, of the teeth, yeah. And so we didn't develop maybe shape B C D yeah uh, in this material. Because every color liquid will affect about the recognized chains, brightness, and the stable life. So I don't like and recommend to, to use the pre-color reconia. Don't use the white reconia with the color liquid because many article and the evidence show this. If you use the color liquid to stain your reconia, you can to control about the value, color, and the stable. Sometimes if too much or too over also will affect about the strength. So lead is not a good thing because there's something we can do control is very dangerous, especially this restoration we are stated in the patient's mouth. So in my opinion, I more like to recommendation, I recommend to use the precarded deconia. That is why I like use the 3D Pro. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we need to use uh, something else. Uh, if possible, you can use a very clear air to spray it. And then you also can to use the, the brush to clear it. But the please the, uh, uh, make sure before to center it, clear surface. If you uh, 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 leave the, some powder or something very fine in, in surface, after centering, you can to see the some white area like the white spot, you need to use the fur to ground in and remove it. So clear it is very important. But if you want to use the air to spray clean it, please make your, your clear, uh, your air is clear and dry. Some, some air, air, uh, air pressure machine there uh, make the air is a little dirty and sometimes with the oil, this is not good for your recording. I'd like to get the information. What is the recommended parameter uh, uh, the gap of the KKM? Mm, if you want the the use the DC connect, that you don't to leave the extra space because data will diffuse into the your reconia surface. Data is not very thickness. I remember I and I also have ever test you supplied two times. Just after the uh, after the baking, the signal is just uh, the, the A to 10 unimicro. Later is the extra thin, never to affect your fitness. Because uh, uh, normally we set in the cement gap is a 20 unimicro. So this is never affect the, your, your fitness. So don't worry. But if you supply the, the too much time, maybe, uh, that is a danger. But if possible, just a surprise two times that you can do see the pink or the color and the, the, the cover the old reconia surface is enough. Can you share your experience about the time of the HNDC connect when cement? Uh, after my study test, uh, I must tell you if you are every step is correct and make well, I said that maybe you surprised two times this connect and the back the, the, the right temperature, you can to use the 5% or 4.5% is like the Evercolite agent gel. Apply it on your DC connected surface and uh, keep it the, the, the stay 90 to, uh, 90 to 100 seconds and uh, you can to remove it. Don't worry, you can to see surface is a roughness. Even is a little like a gross, don't worry, because we use the, 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 the SEM to test it. That is a very, uh, it, it, it aging very well. So you don't worry about, don't just the, the use the UI to see, because sometimes our IC, everything is not uh, totally right. I know that in the past, in the past, the many user always feel after each, I need to feel surface is white and the roughness and the no light reflection, that is the, the right issue. No, I must tell you that is, uh, that is wrong. The right issue is the, to use the right percentage, the HNGO, 
and the uh, and the uh, and the uh, edge in the right seconds. If you do the right, you can do get the nice the the bounding surface. Don't adjust the body if you are I see the white and the roughness. That is not totally right. Okay, so uh, so yeah. which of yeah. either the coin block can considered as by one? Okay. Uh, 3D Pro there is the combination of 4Y for the cervical part and 5Y for the essential part, yeah. And the easy near is uh, totally 5Y. And uh, SHT plus series is 4Y, yeah. I mean, for the for the SHTPW and SHTPC, and also SHT, uh, it's also 4Y. And for SHTPM, yeah, it's, it's also the combination of 5Y and 4Y in the future because we will release a new SHTPM later, yeah. And we will increase the band the stress of this material. And also, so, some someone uh, asks uh, that uh, when we the process will go be. And our international colleague, yeah, the international market colleague, maybe I will tell you later. Yeah, I mean for the time of the courses of for the engineer later. Oh. Okay, if you have any uh, question, you can just uh, tell your sales manager and, uh, and maybe we will come back to you. Yeah, okay, one more question. Yeah, please. When I use the DC connect, I back on the oh, temperature 9, 910. And the, do you recommend to use the slow temperature? Uh, uh, please, the, you must uh, use the, this the program and the temperature very careful because the, my recommendation temperature is 895. Because the, the, the DC connect is this in DC and the glass to uh, make sure if you back it over a 910, the glass will become very weak and uh, that is not good for the bonding because uh, after actually maybe the glass the, the structure will very weakness even that the keep on the cornea surface is very good but uh, the, this the glass maybe will broken so that is not good for the the, the, the bonding so if possible maybe my recommendation is to use the 895 or 900 is enough, don't do over the, the, the 910 because the glass is very sensitivity over 910. So maybe if you are, your furnace, the temperature is not totally correct, it's a little over one or two, and then you put it in, in the furnace, keep it too much time. Maybe you are uh, lazy connect, uh, the structure will become very weak and then not good for the bonding. So don't bag it to high temperature. What is the difference between the lower groove and TSP? And GS. Roy, I'm not sure this is what and TSP. I'm not sure. GS is I don't, I, I, I'm not, not, I'm a little confused about this question. I mean, the difference between the below. GS39, GS35, yes. what is this?
Okay, so if there's no question, I think uh, we, we will have a better ending of today's training. Yeah. That's, that mean we should use the nine uh, best than the 900 degree in case when like to go. Uh, uh, I'm, but yes, uh, uh, if that's mean the right, if possible, don't use the too high temperature, the, the, the porcelain system. Yeah, it is it, right. Thank you so much for internet training. Which kind of connector is better for use uh, meaning this material? Uh, if possible, in my in my recommendation, you will use the the five Y the Reconia system. Not maybe it's the ID or other brand. Never to use it to make the bridge. <laughs> If the two single crown you design a connect, I think it's don't worry because the layer have the apartment and have the stump to support it. But don't use it to make the bridge with the point is a danger because the, the this is a danger and we can to control every patient's bite. If this patient is a deep bite or bite in the middle side, that is very strong. By the force will affect a, 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 a a uh, five Y system draconia because the five Y system draconia without the transformation toughening. So when you make the quick light inside, this quick light will cross up, and uh, maybe the one day that it will broken. But in the four uh, four Y or five Y, they will more high strength can to keep and stop the this the quick light to to cross up. So if the five Y TZP. It's not good for stop the, the, the quick light. So don't to use this type of material to make the, 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 the bridge with the pointy. But for two single crown to to uh to to sprinter is not it's don't uh it's 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 fine. Yeah. Thank you, Jason. Good presentation. Okay. I suggest for any dealer that distance coming in this Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's also very late in China time. Yeah. So if you have no any other questions, I'm thinking we end this today. Thank you. Training, thank yeah. you. Yes. And uh, well, thank, thank you, you for attending this training. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any more questions, you can just tell the sales manager and I will. Uh, and uh, today, uh, me and um, Mr. Tang will reply to your question. Yeah, in the future. Okay. Okay. Thank so you, everyone. We can start to the promotion of Ethereum and the uh, Easy Connect. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank bye. You. Good night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Good night. Bye. Yeah. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. <笑>辛苦了大佬好拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜